Three-dimensional printing has been around, believe it or not, since the early 1980s. It's really taken off here in just the last few years. In fact, it's having a big impact in the operating room here in Houston. Building models of knees, of ankles, of hips. Dr. George Bissett is the chief pediatric radiologist at Texas Children's here in Houston. He and his staff use a 3D printer to build replicas of patients to better prepare for surgery. What this would mean for an individual child is hopefully less time in the operating room, less risks. Again, it's a way to simulate surgery before the patient actually has to go to the operating room. But it not only helps the surgeons, it helps the patients too. You can actually show it to the patient and give them a realistic view of what their particular ailment is. This is a 3D version of a patient's pelvis. He also showed us a heart, an exact replica of what's inside one child's chest. The surgeon can actually take this out, can look at it, can plan the surgery based on what he's actually seen, uh, and then it becomes easier when he or she gets to the operating room. In China, researchers have unveiled the country's first 3D bioprinter that can make human body parts. Here it is carving out a pair of ears using biomaterials like cells that are placed inside the cartridge. In the U.S., Dr. Bissett says it could be a while before we see these 3D organs actually used inside a human body. One of the problems we have with 3D is that we don't have very sophisticated materials yet. Right now, what you're looking at is plastic. We can also print out things using metal. But we haven't gotten to the point that we can create printouts using lifelike materials. All right, interesting development. Anyway, though, Dr. Bissett says it could be as soon as five to ten years that we start seeing this 3D technology actually used inside the human body.